Welcome to the Cure for Stupidity podcast, an ongoing exploration of the stupidity in real life, relationships, parenting, and more. All right. Welcome to the live version of the Cure for Stupidity podcast. <laughs> Episode 5 Episode goes live. Five. It's <laughs> International Podcast Day, so that's super exciting, and uh, this is our fun way to celebrate. <laughs> so we figured we would do this live and... And just see what happens. So yeah. um, uh, we are um, we, we are live, and I realize that my microphone's not on. So Ooh. so so let me go ahead and plug that in because I think that might be important. Probably you know, for a podcast. Maybe. You can you can talk. You can I can talk. All right. Well, I believe today we're going to be talking about distinction. And so with distinction, um, there is, uh, in the book, one of our absolute favorite stories. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and be sharing that story. <laughs> I'll let you start with what distinction is and then um, your, your, uh, your inspiration in the book. Yes. <laughs> so, so the power of distinction is this idea that absent a distinction, absent a way of, of telling one thing from another it's almost impossible for us to see that there's a difference. And so um, the story that helped me learn about the power distinction <laughs> is uh, our, um, our trash can at our old house in, in, our, in our, uh, our, our powder room downstairs, the half bathroom downstairs. And one of my jobs around the house is to take out the garbage. And um, so I'm supposed to take out the trash Wednesday night, um, but I'm a little disorganized and so sometimes I – Every time I would wait <laughs> until Thursday morning when I would hear the trash truck in the next neighborhood over. And so uh, I'd run around the house like crazy, collecting all the trash cans, putting in the dumpster, taking the dumpster to the curb. Well, one, one uh, Thursday, Jamie had had enough of that. And so she said, Eric, I've got a pet peeve I want to talk with you about. Uh, pet peeve is our language for I'm mad, but intentionally not angry. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about this. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, what is it? What have I done this time? And she says, you know the downstairs bathroom trash? You never put it away when you're done with it. And I'm like, never is a strong word, but I hear what you're saying. <laughs> and so the next week rolls around and... I'm running around like crazy, like I always do, um, and I, 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 I hear my wife's voice, right? I hear her voice, put away the downstairs bathroom trash, and so I do. I put it right in there, right between the toilet and the sink, right where it goes, and at this point, like, very proud of myself because I've done the thing. I remembered for a whole week the thing I was to supposed to, to do the thing, and so later that afternoon, she comes up to me, and she says, Eric... I thought we talked about this. I don't know if that's exactly. It's what exactly. I said. There was a neck roll and everything. Mm, we'll see. And she said, "You know, you didn't put away the downstairs bathroom trash again." And I'm like, "Oh, well, I did. I, I'm actually. I remember intentionally doing it." And she's like, "Let's go look." I'm like, "Yeah, let's go look." I'm about to prove myself right. And we walk in there, and she's like, "See?" And I'm like, "See?" <laughs> and and then I realized that she had this distinction. She gave me a distinction. She said, "Did you realize that I bought this trash can?" which is perfectly sized to fit between the toilet and the sink like this, and you keep putting it in like this, and, and when you do it, the kids kick it, spilling out, knock it over, spilling out the contents, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I, I never knew that there was a right way to do it, and so I never thought there could have been a wrong way to do it, and so this idea of distinction is that because I lacked the distinction, I didn't even know that there was something to be seen. Yeah. And, and and from your point of view, you thought I was I lacked common sense and all this. I thought you're lazy. You know, that's generally my story that I like to tell. Is like. What do you mean generally the story you like to tell? When I when I get frustrated, the story that I like lean on or lean into or find myself you know telling myself is you're lazy. Yeah. It's like yeah. it took five seconds more to scoot the trash can in. And you always put it, you know, sticking out where the yeah. kids, again, knocked it over. Yeah. And when you retell the story and when it's in a book, I'm like, <laughs> gosh, like, how horrible am I that that drove me crazy every single week? But that's marriage, right? Like, right, those right, little right. things happen every single week. Mm -hmm. And until you had distinction, I literally just thought you were not doing it. Like, it's in the room. It's close enough. Like, it's good yeah. enough. And I would constantly have to turn it, you know, to orient little, the right Little way. annoyances, yeah. Yeah, so just those little things every week. But now that this is, you know, lived on for <laughs> Forever. generations of storytelling, <laughs> um, it's, you know, a little embarrassing. And, it, it, like, was that right to be right? Like, was that... No, oh. so I think the thing is, is, like, it, it was a really powerful lesson for me because it takes zero extra effort 
for me to put it in one way or the other. And I, I think about it, like, <laughs> like the trash can fits perfectly in my hand like this. And so setting it down that way makes sense. Like it was just easy. It was just easier. We're not lazy per se, but it was just like I didn't know that there was a thought behind it. And I think that's one of the things with this power of distinction is when we talk about, you know, when you think I lack common sense or when I think you lack common sense, what's really missing is I see something in a way and you see it in a different way. And both of us think that our way is the right way. Yeah. And I think so many times with distinction is I feel like you know what I want. I should know. Yeah. Well, I, or I feel oh, like you think I already do. I actually, I actually honestly believe that, you know, hmm. And you're just not doing it. Because <laughs> I'm a jerk, right? Until you get this distinction. It's like, really? You didn't know that? Which, you know, goes back to, I think, the argument uh -huh, uh -huh. of Jerem's desk. Yes. Yeah, which is funny because uh, we talked about the argument last week. Last week. Um, but what we didn't talk about, Jamie, Jamie had mentioned that there were some precursors to the argument. and Little things that happened <laughs> throughout the day to add some fuel to the fire. <laughs> or, or the kindling to the fire, because this was before stuff, right? And so, so... This is one thing that I don't think about in the way that you think about it. So, so the day starts and we have on our list, we're going to finish Jerem's desk because Jamie had been, so we went, actually we went to Ikea two months ago, something like that, a while ago. trying to get desks for the kids for homeschooling or for schooling at home. And like Ikea is just like bare, like there are no desks for kids. It's just, it's crazy. No desk chairs. No desk chairs. Yeah, no it was desk. awful. It was awful. So, so Jamie gets the, the intel that if you go online at ikea.com at 10 p.m., that's when they refresh their inventories online. And so every night for a month, no, a month and a half. Longer, we, yeah. It was before school started. Yeah. So. so every night, 10 p.m., Jamie has an alarm set on her phone. She's going on the phone. We, or we had picked out which desk we wanted for him. They were just sold out of it. And so the day came, we got the desk, we were gonna install the desk. And so Jerem's homeschooling room, school at home room, is in our is in our bedroom, and so we have this kind of curtain up. So he's got his space or whatever, um, and so we're like getting ready. We're laying out the boxes and opening up the boxes. I'm like, oh, so which orientation should we do? Should we have you know it's like a corner with an L? Should we have the L coming off this way, or do the corner over here L coming off this way? And I want to have this just lighthearted conversation with my spouse. Sure. And she didn't respond as if it was a lighthearted conversation. All of a sudden, she got this. She got really upset at me, and I'm like. What did I do? What what happened? Change for change's sake. That's what it seems like. <laughs> and so and so as we talked about it, the distinction she gave me was that she had been thinking about this every single night. Yeah, because it was like every night at 10 p.m. I would have to go and check inventory at IKEA, and it, it was weeks. I mean, I, I'm fairly certain it was longer than a month, probably longer than two months, and. It was this whole process of trying to order the desk. And so there were multiple times where it was like, do we really need this desk? Should I just order something different? I don't know if it's recording. I don't even know what's going. Uh -oh. It says eight minutes. It's not even eight minutes. It's, yeah, so it says there. I don't think, uh, I don't think any video is going through. We're having trouble. Hmm. This is what we're having trouble playing this video. All right. Now I feel like an old person. Like if it is actually going live, if it is going live, and you're seeing this, forgive us because we don't know what we're, we're only doing. Millennials. We don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix this. That was a good start. You're really good at this, babe. You're right. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'm gonna change this. You can use this option once live. Oh. We cannot use. It. Oh, you can hear oh, us and see hey, us. Thank you, thank CBS you. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. We don't have to be those silly millennials. Like, is this? Thing well, it's on? funny because on our end it says, "Sorry, we're having trouble playing the video." Okay. Oh. Talk amongst yourselves. Y'all are the best. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so every night at 10 p.m., I'm logging in, and the desk is not in stock. Like the desk is not there. So in my head, it's like. Is this really the desk? Should I find something else? Should I simplify? Like, is it really worth it? Is it ever going to come in stock? Mm -hmm. And I'm constantly reevaluating. You know, the the <laughs> ever planner is like, okay, well, if this, you know, how long do we wait before we just order a different desk? You know, yeah. how long do we do we go? And I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah. 
And now it's go time. We finally got the desk. Like the celebration, the excitement, it got shipped. I mean, it arrived. And then we had to wait for the weekend to put it together just because mm-hmm. it was, you know, a process. And it's finally go time. And you're like, well, should we put it this way? Should we put it over here? What should we do? As if I did all that planning and work without actually knowing where the desk was going to go. Like I didn't measure it out. Well, so <laughs> I love the way you make your face look when you're 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 being me in this story. So no, that's not how I talk. But Are you but, sure? but the thing is, well, I don't know. Well, let's ask Cynthia and Brooke. So so the thing is is I don't do that kind of planning. I know. Right? I don't I don't I don't I don't see that far ahead. So it's like okay. It can go this way just fine. It can go that way just fine. And if it's this way, I guess the camera would look at So like in the moment is when like I'm running through all of that and, and I never I never thought that you had gone through months of thinking. And so so what we what we eventually got to was the reason you got so upset is it was it was like I was ignoring or discounting all of that thought and planning that you had gone through when power of distinction, I I didn't even know that that was something that a person would have done. And when I, when I talked it through with you that every night when my alarm went off at 10 PM and I'm, you know, scrolling through the Ikea website, adding everything to the cart and, you know, looking at inventory that I was picturing and Mm -hmm. like, you know, second guessing, triple guessing. And here you come at the 11th hour (laughs) or 13th hour, because I'm sure we started late knowing us. And, um, here you are all of a sudden saying like, oh, how should we, what should we do? Let's try it this way. And I'm like, no. <laughs> well, no. The, the weird thing is, the weird thing is like I was there like every night at 10 o'clock. I was there. Yeah. I was a part of the searching and the waiting. But Which in, is why I thought you had the distinction. No way. <laughs> because you did all that thinking in your own head. And I'm an extrovert. Is that even possible? Yes, it is. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like I just, I didn't know. Like I did not, I, I could not comprehend that all those times that we were sitting there together, scrolling through the IKEA website, picking out which desk did we get the one we wanted, that there was any more to that consideration than just did we get the one we wanted? Yeah. And like so, I'm just trying to have literally just a lighthearted conversation. What do you think? And 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 I think that because I was so like meh, well, meh, like just chitty, chitty chatty with my wife. It, that made you more frustrated. Which then compounded yeah. into the rest of the day where it's like, go time, yeah. let's let's mark off the list, let's get all these projects done. And you kept, in my opinion, dragging the feet in the sand, <laughs> like, whoa, we haven't even determined where the desk is gonna go. No, we like, shouldn't I, start putting it together. Again. I was actively opening the boxes as we were having that conversation. You were, but actively. It, it felt like yeah. another barrier or roadblock. Yeah. Put in the that. way of moving forward. I get that. That's what it felt like. I get that, and it's funny. So from my point of view, it's like no, I'm, we're just we're just talking as we prepare to build this thing. We're gonna have another two hours of building. Might as well talk as we go. Yeah. And, and and you're it's, the creative, and I'm the analytical. And I I get it. Hindsight is twenty twenty for sure. Um, but it's just it's so hard in the moment to not see that as yeah. you had the distinction. You just ignored it (laughs) yeah yeah and that's it's it's funny yeah which which brings me to another point within this chapter called switch tracking (laughs) guilty (laughs) and this is i love this because this is like the one the one principle in the book where james like i can see myself doing this yeah fight to be right i'm like i really don't see it like i want to be better but i i just don't see it i know like switch tracking comes up and it's like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're very you're very well practiced at switch tracking. So switch tracking is is the idea that if you kind of imagine on a train, we're having a conversation and we're going down a track, and then at some point, the you know the tracks can divide and there's a little lever to switch from one track to the other. Well, switch tracking and conversation is we're talking about this. And then all of a sudden, the other person responds with something totally different. I think we saw a lot of that in the debate. In the debate, I was thinking the same thing. It's like, are we talking about this? And poor Chris Wallace, like I know. he's sitting there trying to wrangle these cats. And like, the question I asked you was this, but let's talk about that. No, the question right, I asked you was this. All right, all right, all right, all right. You're digressing. I'm, I'm switching tracks, but. But when you think about in, in, the, in the, the context of a conversation or a debate or an argument, if I'm trying to address this one thing and you're responding with like these things, 
then how in the world are we ever going to get resolution on any of them? And it's it's so hard for me because like we start talking about you know an issue, <laughs> and in my head I have six other things that all stem from, in my opinion, the same issue. Yeah. And you're very good at wanting to address everything that I bring up. Yes. And so it's hard for me because. I don't necessarily see it as switch tracking because all of those things are, you know, cut from the same cloth. They're all coming from a similar issue. But they're but they're all separate. <laughs> they are things. separate. I get it. So, I totally so, get so, it. So so what Jamie has a tendency to do is like if we're talking about something and we're working on one thing, like she'll go and say, and this and this and this and don't forget this and this and, and it kind of piles on. And I'm sitting here like what, what are How you long is the train? Yeah. <laughs> How many cars have you put on to the end before I find the caboose? <laughs> well, and you're, you're right. Like my 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 thought process when we get into an argument or conversation, my thought process is, is create resolution around this thing, and then move on to the next thing. Yeah. And 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 when you do that, that just like uh, it's like machine gun fire sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I, I need to keep track of all of these things to make sure that, okay, this, okay, resolve this. Okay, you thought this, let me resolve that. Let me resolve this and then go through. And it gets exhausting for me. Like there's sometimes where I'm like, we've already we've already covered it. Like we've already talked about that. Like cause all, all of these things were yeah. in that same category for me. Yeah. And so I don't see it necessarily as switch tracking. No, it's totally I switch tracking. It is in, I get that. Like I, yeah. I understand it, but it's, in the moment, in the moment, yeah. it, they're all together. Like mm -hmm. they're all lumped, you know, in a group. So, so let me ask you, it, because I've as 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 a as a card carrying male, it's it's always been my thought. Like, if there's a problem, let me solve it. So, like when you come and you say, "I'm having this problem," like let me go solve it. And so, I've been working very hard over the last 13, 14 years or so, trying to get better at just listening. And so. When you get into those those modes where you're kind of layering and or what I call piling on, <laughs> like is it is that just like you just need to vent them? Like should I, should I just listen? Maybe I don't know. It's a good question. I honestly I don't know the answer because okay. where we're talking about it right here, like sometimes I, you know where I'm like enough, like we're good, like we've resolved this, we can stop talking it. Yeah, we can stop, stop talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, but there are other times where going back to like solving it or fixing it like i do feel like there are other times where it's unresolved hmm. and that's why maybe i carry it until i get that list because it hasn't been resolved prior to that yeah um and so maybe that's how i come up with the list but i just think we have to get better and more clear about like are, is this one list that yeah. we're talking about or is this like yeah. multiple things that actually need to be addressed yeah that's that's it's funny because as as i think about when those things happen it just, just happened a couple nights ago right yeah, well, we were, we're playing cards, we're playing cards uh, yeah. yeah and and um <laughs> and what i what i what i hear is i i hear kind of the theme or the story and when those things happen oftentimes the story is i'm a jerk I'm rude. Lazy. I'm <laughs> lazy. Right, but that's that's the theme of the story. And so like I feel like I need to redeem myself or at least redeem myself in the story. It's like, okay, so I did do this thing, and I'm not gonna deny I did this thing, but I didn't do it for a malicious reason. And so Okay, so so here's an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. Um the forest and the trees. Yes, yes. This is this is where I struggle mm -hmm. is I see the forest. Yep. I see all of the issues. I see all of the roadblocks and whatever, and it can be debilitating. Like yeah. it can be a heavy load to mm -hmm. look at and be like, "Oh my gosh, there's so many things." Mm -hmm. And you're a tree guy. Yep. And to you, it's like there's this thing, and then there's this thing, and then there's this thing, and then there's this thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that right here, what we're talking about with switch tracking, it, this comes back to it. Yep. Of, I'm looking at the entire forest. Mm -hmm and bringing it all together as a forest, and you're looking at trees, yep. and you're saying this item, and then that one, and then that one. Yeah. And I I am not, I, mean, I won't say I'm not capable, but I am not naturally naturally yeah. inclined to look at the, the trees. Yeah, and, and, I, and I see that a lot, um, just in, in, in what drives me nuts about the way that you talk sometimes, like, um, 
It's a little awkward to say on a podcast. Well, no, but it's <laughs> no, but I'm serious because because you you will get on some some wave of thought and it's like boom 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 boom, boom and it's like all of the all the whole she forest learned. has come out. <laughs> yeah, and like I'm I'm trying to look at a tree at a time and it's hard for me and I think also for you it's you said earlier it's exhausting when I go through and I address tree by tree by tree trying to get it and like in my head I'm thinking oh when I get to the end we're gonna be like perfectly in <laughs> sync and it's gonna be wonderful and by the end you're like seriously we've talked about this before we're done yeah um, but but interestingly like thinking about how that impacts your stress to the forest and the trees and and you know just just two weeks ago you know, we're doing all this construction here in the house and deconstruction here in the house. And um, for the first couple of weeks, there was a lot of drywall dust all over the place, like in our kitchen and everything and everywhere. everywhere. And so uh, it started to become like oppressive, like everything that we ate on or touched, it's like, oh, we got to wipe off the drywall dust and everything. So a couple of weeks ago, all of the dishes just because, just because, dust. yeah, yeah. And so we decided to put up plastic sheeting before we did this huge deconstruction project or demo project and um, the amount of things that had to be done for that stressful yeah it was causing you a lot of stress and it's okay so when you when you ask about whether each item needs attention it's like in the moments where I'm stressed you do a fantastic job yeah. like that night where mm -hmm. it's like we have to hang plastic in all the rooms you know we need to move the furniture out we need to cover the piano we got to do all this stuff and for me, it's like, oh my gosh, maybe I should just postpone this project a couple more days. Like, I don't know if we have enough time to get all this done. And you broke it down. It's like, okay, 20 minutes to hang plastic in this room, 10 minutes to hang it in that room, you know, five minutes to do this. And you broke it down. It was like, okay, so we have, you know, 47 minutes of work to get done. And we have four hours to get it done before, mm -hmm. you know, bedtime and then, you know, some time in the morning to, to wrap things up. And it's like, it's doable. It's 100% doable. Yeah. But when I'm looking at the forest of so many things need to get done, the stress definitely takes over. Yeah. And you're great at, you know, bringing me back down in those moments. Like mm -hmm. the trees work wonderful there. Yeah. In the other moments, <laughs> the trees are exhausting. Yeah. Like it's it's hard to yeah. look at every single tree sometimes. Like yeah. I just I and maybe that's why I rapid fire them off. It's like I'm trying to build a little get, forest. Get all in there. So we just, you know, get it over with real quick. <laughs> I get that. I get that. You know, it's it's funny. I I do I do enjoy watching you de-stress when we go through that because that, that's a really it's it makes me feel like I've helped. You do help. Um, <laughs> but it, it, interesting at the same time, your ability to see how much there is and all of the different ways and these all of these different elements interact, like that's what makes you a great planner. And that's why we can like we can plan these really epic road trips or really epic vacations or epic uh, projects around the house because you're able to see all like the whole forest. Whereas when I do it, I start a podcast and I don't plug in my microphone. Right? <laughs> it's like th those sorts of things. I'm just I'm so one thing at a time. You on the video at least. I did, even though I thought I didn't. I did. But but that's but that's it, it's interesting just seeing how those like our natural tendencies play off of each other and help each other and uh that's that's pretty it's pretty interesting yeah um we did briefly talk about the debate um uh -huh. and i think just where i see you know distinction play out the most is in politics yeah and it's like you know you hear people describe the other side oh yeah and whatever adjectives are being yeah. used if they don't say which party or person or whatever they're talking about you can almost equally picture the other side about the other side depending on your viewpoint depending mm -hmm. on which team you want to be a part of mm -hmm. and so it's it's so yucky to see the the politics and how distinction comes through like everybody's just fighting yep. and it's it's ugly all around and it really doesn't matter who your team is like we have the united states mm -hmm. and we need leadership yeah and it's a distinction of party lines and whatever and all that. It's so ugly. It is, and, and it's natural. Like it's, that is natural human behavior. And yeah. we'll talk about uh, tribalism later in the book. But like this, is what we do is we we cut clear distinctions so that we can know who's us and who's not us. And 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 those that are not us. Interesting. I was reading this article on this this phenomenon uh, called the 
empathy gap. And, and the empathy gap exists when there is another team. So if there's another team and they have some issue, some problem, some pain, we actually don't feel empathy for them as if we would for a, a, or, or someone that we didn't know whose team they were. Okay. Right? So, so okay. thinking about this, um, um, uh, when, when right before the 20, I think it was 2016 Super Bowl, 2017 Super Bowl, it was Patriots and the Seahawks. Right? We are very proud Seahawks Go fans. Go Hawks. <laughs> and, and in, the, the, in the, 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 the games leading up to it, there was uh, this... Uh, this drama that happened around deflating footballs, mm. deflate gate, right? Yes, so, yeah. so Tom Brady, the Patriots, uh, they were they were accused and found guilty of deflating the footballs so that they're easier, easier to throw and, and catch, yeah. and which is illegal. Like, it's against the rules. And what did every Seahawk fan do? Celebrated. Yes. They celebrated that another team. It was called was caught and they had to have punishments and Brady had to sit out the next season for a few games and that's like that, that's the empathy gap if it was our team we wouldn't like it and that's that's it's kind of it's lighthearted whatever yeah. but think about how that affects like the real situations of the red team versus the blue team yeah. right like like I, I'm willing to bet and I hope that this doesn't happen but I'm willing to bet if there was a a a uh, a physical ailment that happened to any one of the two major uh, presidential candidates, people would celebrate, yeah. right? Oh, right. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the empathy gap, yeah. right? Is is all of a sudden because they're on the other team, because we have the distinction of us and them, now we can very clearly see all of the reasons that we're not the same. Yeah, but even beyond you know sickness and other things, I mean, there's so many every personal attack, all the little things that happen. Those are all the things that we celebrate. We can't wait to point mm -hmm. out the flaws in right. the other team. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of it 100%. Um, it's so easy to see how that side is making all of this laundry list of mistakes. And there are some things that are politics. Mm -hmm. And then there are other things that, that go beyond that. Yeah. And you have to have, you know, well, I have to have <laughs> my line in the sand yeah. of where I have political differences, where I have, you know, they see things differently, you know, they have a different distinction that I have. Mm -hmm. And there are other things where it's really not negotiable. Right. And racism is one of them. Yeah. I mean, that, that for me is a, a hard no. We've had enough experience. I have enough distinction raising our children and being married to you to have seen that that is not okay. Mm -hmm. Like, 100% completely not okay. Mm -hmm. And it's not something I will ever sympathize towards or allow or um, that's that's where I draw my line. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's tough because right now you've got politics and then you've got way heavier, deeper things than that. Which people are trying to politicize. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that they're trying to make these things as a, a party difference. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't be that way. Right. It should not well, be and the, that. The interesting thing with all of that is that... All of that division, you talk about racism, you talk about uh, classism, you talk about all of, all of these things that are really human issues. Um, what people have been able to do is create the world around themselves. And so um, you can't accuse me of being racist because I'm a good person. You can't accuse me of being this because I'm I'm a good person and I, and I think what what we as a collective uh, collective a nation need to do is disassociate our character from our behaviors mm -hmm. and and if we do that work all of a sudden we can have real dialogue again yeah. so so it's not about like if if, if I said so, or if I laughed at a joke that was racist that doesn't make me a racist it makes that laughter and that joke racist and I could say oh yeah I can see that yeah. I, I, I can probably you know, think about the the movie rush hour okay Right, so so Rush Hour from the early two thousands, right, with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, incredibly racist movie, but at the time it was funny, like that's where comedy was. I laughed at it, yeah. like that movie. All those jokes are racist, and that doesn't make me a race, like a racist, right? Talking about character, but no, understanding that those behaviors were. But we've talked about it before. It's you know this moment to moment yes. decision mm -hmm. of, okay, did that own up to it and say, move on, I can be better, I can do better. Yeah. And I think even with the kids, we give them that distinction yeah. where we try to tell them, 
you made a bad choice. Right. The action was bad, not you. You are a good. You're you are not still a bad good. person. Yeah. And so that was. I don't remember where that parenting advice came from, but we were given that. It's like you don't say like you're bad. You're you a say, bad boy. Yeah. yeah you, bad boy. Bad girl. You say that was bad. That was wrong. That item. That mm-hmm. thing. Because you can change the behavior. Mm-hmm. It doesn't necessarily mean that you as a person is always bad or always good. You have moment to moment decisions and actions and behaviors that can be changed. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with racism. You can laugh at a joke, you can share something, you can, you know, allow behaviors in your presence and at the same time realize, learn from them and go, yeah, you know what, I probably could have done better. You know what, I now have awareness, I now have distinction to the fact that that's not okay. That, that, you know, hurts other people when I do this or when I allow this. And I can do better than that. Yeah. Which requires empathy, right? Yeah. You, you got it. We've got to learn or relearn how to step into empathy and, and recognizing that because of the distinction, because of these party gaps and divides, we're, we're actually losing the ability to empathize with our neighbors, with our other, with our friends, with our family. Um, and, and, and that's, that's scary. I believe that's the next principle that we're going through actually. So that'll <laughs> yeah, be yeah. next week, right? Is like yes. a deep dive into empathy. Into empathy. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's heavy and it's deep and especially after the debate last night like mm. I feel like everybody's reeling and just trying to figure out what happened yeah um, so I would like to end with a, a really lighthearted fun story okay. about uh, this last week okay so we had um, we've talked about Eric's method of cooking and, um, <laughs> uh, Eric's parents are here right now. His mom and his stepdad. Um, it's amazing. They they drove down from Washington. They quarantined. They got tested. They're negative. We are now able to spend time together. We haven't seen them since January, and it's it's really just awesome for the kids to be able to be with them and for us to be with them. We we just really miss them. And so they were here the other night, and they were cooking dinner for the kids. And um, Jasmine went to Grandma and said, I can tell that you're related to daddy. And it was like- I can tell daddy's your son. Oh, I can tell daddy's your son. Uh, And it was kind of like, okay, you look alike, you've got the same smile, (laughs) you know, great, awesome, loving, tender hugs, you know, lots of ways she can go this. Um, (laughs) And she says, you you both cook with the messy kitchen. You're you're both really messy. like the mess is genetic. Like, it's it's the smile. It's it's the it's the eyes. It's the kitchen mess. It's like the kitchen mess. You you learned the kitchen mess, which is hilarious because Jasmine is the messiest member of our family. She leaves messes everywhere she goes. She doesn't even see how messy she is. So that tad of joy uh, can hopefully help. help affirm my uh my cutting board issues oh and, my goodness and my uh my issues with uh your cooking <laughs> oh goodness oh, so God. on that note oh, uh, I'll, you, I'll get some empathy yes thank you next week so if you haven't if you haven't yet uh, grab the book uh, you can find it at thecureforstupidity.com you can find it on Amazon uh, tons of good stuff a lot you'll you'll get to read a deeper version of the trash can story in that book um, and and use use this to oh. to oh oh you got in something the trash in your head can story uh-oh. rather than learning you just had us move that's true. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's why we moved. That's true. So for, first, for, first of all, so I did learn how to do the trash can, <laughs> but then very shortly after that, I remodeled the bathroom and got new trash cans. And someone actually, uh, someone at a HR conference said, "Why didn't you just get round trash cans?" I'm like, "That's brilliant!" <laughs> so we have round trash cans now, and there's no problem. No, they they always are in the right direction. Always. <laughs> so all right, yeah, but you can subscribe to the podcasts on all the platforms, um, all the different ways. Um, happy International Podcast Day. International Day. Podcast Day. And if you have, you have questions, you know, rate us, whatever. But if you want to drop us questions, uh, want us to chat about certain things or ask us some certain things about us, about the relationship or our ideas about things, we're happy to share. So feel free to drop those in any way you'd like to. Thank you. All right. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the video tips. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.